Okay, hi everybody, and today we're going to be talking about the three types of uh, neurons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the three types, I'm going to name them, and then we'll actually take a look at them. The first type is called a multipolar neuron. Okay, this is the most common type of neuron in the central nervous system. And this is also responsible, or it's also found in skeletal muscle. Okay. The second type is what we call a unipolar uh, neuron. And a unipolar neuron, these are going to be found in the, uh, in the peripheral nervous system. They're sensory neurons in the peripheral nervous system. All right, and then the third type that we are going to look at is called a bipolar neuron. And these are found in, these are very rare, and they're found in special senses such as sight and smell. Okay, so I got my bipolar neuron, and these are found in special senses. And like I said, like for the special senses being taste, smell, um, hearing, okay, but these are found in special senses. Okay, and these are rare. These are rare. So there's the three types. So now we're going to take a look at my multipolar neuron. So let's go ahead and start over here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I am just going to draw some dendrites. Okay, and then I'm going to go over all these, but then we're going to have our cell body. And then this would come out. I'm going to get my axon with an axon terminals down there. Okay, so this is my multipolar neuron. If you notice, I have several dendrites, one axon, and then at the end, I got, it splits up a little bit at the end. So let's start right here. And like we said, these are our dendrites. So when you see all these sticking out, those are dendrites. Dendrites are going to have receptors on the end that are going to take stimuli, a signal, and they're going to send it to the cell body. So dendrites send stimuli to the cell body. Okay? So that's what the dendrites are going to do. And like I said, they have different types of receptors that you can have on the end for sensing different things such as temperature, vibration, touch, pressure things such as that. Now we have the cell body. In the cell body, let me, okay, here's my cell body. And in my cell body, we have different things in there. So for example, like all cells, we're gonna have a nucleus on the inside. All right, so there's my nucleus. All right, and then the other big one that we're gonna have in here are, I'm gonna draw this kind of big, I know I drew it bigger than the nucleus, but we're also gonna have mitochondria in here. Remember, mitochondria is responsible for making energy. So we have mitochondria. All right, and then the other thing we're gonna have is endoplasmic reticulum. Okay, there's my endoplasmic reticulum. All right, and then the other thing we're going to have are ribosomes in here. Now, if you remember, the ribosomes can be on the endoplasmic reticulum 
And if it's on the endoplasmic reticulum, it's called rough endoplasmic reticulum. Okay? Ribosomes can also be floating free in the cytoplasm of my neuron. Okay? But the thing is, is in a neuron, we don't call these ribosomes. We actually call them missile bodies. Okay? So we also have that. Down here, we are going to have basically where my cell body is going to meet my axon, we have the axon HELOC right here. Okay, and then they used to think that in here was something called the trigger zone, and the trigger zone would determine if signals could get from here to down here. Now they think this trigger zone is actually a little bit further down, um, closer to where this the cell body meets the axon. So let's go ahead and put this right here, and here's my axon. Okay, and then I'm, at the end of here, I'm going to have axon terminals. And those are going to go on to meet with either a muscle, a gland, or another nerve. So that's pretty much it for the multipolar neuron. Now let's take a look at the others. So the next one is going to be my unipolar nerve. Okay, and it's going to go like this. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go like this. All right, and then we're going to come like this. Okay, and then what I have coming off of here is my cell body. There's my cell body. Now, this here is going to be my dendrite. Okay, so this is where information is going to come in. It's from right here. The rest of this is the axon. So the axon basically carries the information away. In this case, it's carrying it away from the dendrite. But for the most part, the axon is going to be the rest of this. And remember, we said this is basically the most common neuron found in the peripheral nervous system that does sensory. And then the last one we have was the bipolar. And we said bipolar can be found in special senses. They're also the rarest. The bipolar <clears throat> has one dendrite. and one axon. So this is my axon. And this is my dendrite. There's my nucleus. And this is my bipolar neuron. 